Welcome back to the vlogs, Harper and Daddy breakfast time. We have brushed our teeth. Yeah. We have got dressed. Yeah. We've changed a nappy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And now it's time for some breakfast. Yeah. Daddy's shorts. Daddy's hat. What? Fleece. Oh, there is t-shirt. Oh, it's not a fleece. You've got a fleece on. I got sent some more of this actually from like a, from in the mail. So we're having this. Harper likes actually. I think you like it without the milk, don't you? You like it more just to eat plain. Or do you like it with milk? Yep. Yeah. Yep. She just says yep for everything at the minute. Yesterday was a great day. This is a squeaky chair. Yesterday, great day. I had a great time. Harper slept so long, by the way. You got in the car and you slept like five minutes after we set off. You were snoozing, sleeping. And she slept until we got home. And then I transferred her from the car to the bed and you woke up a little bit then. You woke up just because you're a bit confused. So I'll put your uh, sleep suit on. Then she went back to sleep. Then she woke up about 11.30. I went and put her back to sleep. Straight away she went down again. Then she cried again in the night but she was just too close to the edge. So I just moved her in the cart back to the central and she fell asleep again. And then I fell asleep half 12. I, I should have took advantage of, uh, I was doing thumbnails for so long for one of the vlogs and it wasn't even a good thumbnail in the end. I should have just done it quickly and left it, like not overthought it, overthunk it, overthinked it. And then what happened is half five, you woke up and you started crying. And cause I had been asleep then for a while, four hours. I was like, you know what, let me, instead of, putting you back to sleep because I was tired. Let me just bring you into my bed and you can sleep there. So I did that, brought her into my bed and she slept like an absolute rock. So she woke up a few times, but not for long at all. And then she slept in my bed from half five until 8.30. 8.30. Yeah. And I kept looking, and I wasn't really asleep. I kept looking over, is she gonna wake up yet? Is she gonna wake up yet? That is hat. So all in all, what I'm trying to say, she slept for 13 hours. Maybe a few times waking up, but 13 and a half hours. <laughs> That's impressive. But you needed it. You must have needed it. You had a great day with the cousins. You had a great day with your auntie and uncle. Great day with grandparents. Great day with daddy. Did you, did you have a good day with daddy? Daddy. Daddy. Um, but yeah, right, let's eat the cereal. You wanna eat some as well? No. No, you're picking it out yourself. Okay, okay. I think they're a bit big for you, Harper, those ones. I don't think you can wear those to Mama's. Okay, so uh, I couldn't show you guys because it has Harper's face in it, but she was absolutely terrorizing my laptop. Um, she loved it though, which is not, oh, sorry, it's bouncing. She loved it though, which is fun to see. And she kept saying working. <laughs> she would tap on, the, on the, the touchpad on the keys and say working. Honestly, I, I love being a dad and I love Harper so much. I just love like the relationship we have and I can't wait for her to continue to, and I know everyone's always like, oh, I don't want my baby to grow up, but I'm excited for all that because like, I want to talk to her because she's starting to become really funny and like, I can see her mannerisms and the words she does say and the conversations and the way she communicates. It is so like heartwarming and I can, we actually, we're communicating, you know? So what I'm saying is I can't wait until that can be something where I can actually talk and she can talk back because I know her sense of humor is going to be so good. I know she's going to be super talented and I can't wait, you know, and hopefully I can influence a bit of whatever I've, whatever the mindset I've had of like, wanting to do music or wanting to do this YouTube stuff or business or whatever it is, I can't wait to be able to like see what, what she becomes. And obviously there's no pressure at all. Like she can be whatever she wants to be. She doesn't have to do all that stuff. But I'm just saying I, I can't wait to see where her mindset and her mind goes because she does have, she's got something, you know? And I know all parents say that, but she does. Anyway, what I'm saying is I couldn't take the laptop off of her. I was trying to close it or take it away and I couldn't at all. So I managed to get her into the car and we're off now uh, to go and see Mama. Um, and again, I know I go to see Mama a lot when I'm back, but even for me, like I, I don't see my family or my parents a lot, so it's nice when I'm back with Harper. They get to see her, obviously, because they don't see her as much anymore. Um, so it's, just, it's like a win all around, you know? So, uh, yeah, just keeping you guys up to date with what we're doing. And uh, honestly, she just melts my heart. We've left uh, Harper with Mum, Mama, for a sec, because today is St. Patrick's Day. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and for those who don't know, uh, my granddad died on St. Patrick's Day, which is my dad's dad, um, and he's Irish. And he's more Irish than you, isn't he? Obviously, I know you, you were born in Belfast, but he was there for a while. A long time. True, true, so true. we are going to go have a, a Guinness for my granddad. Yeah. Um, and it's also been 13 years since he died, which is obviously another lucky number 13. And I was born on the 13th. Exactly. There we so, go. So it's like a meeting of the Andrews. Yeah, and for those who also don't know, my name's Andrew, my dad's called Andrew, and my granddad was also called Andrew. But he went by Andy, so Grandad Andy. 
Uh, also, I know he doesn't fit my dad in the screen right now, but he said that's enough of me, you know. There's, there's enough of him in the shot that he would like. But yeah, gonna go have a, a Guinness and then come back. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, great day. I, and I heard him. I went to the, uh, the toilet upstairs real quick, and then uh, he, would, he was downstairs chatting to my mum, and he goes, "Oh, well, I love this." He goes, "Imagine having a." He said, "What did you say?" He said, "Imagine having a, a Guinness on some practice day for my granddad with my son." He, 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 then he says, "It's uh, it's like I'm doing something." <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a proper memory. Yeah, a proper thing. Yeah. Well, if you wonder where I get all of my, um, I guess, thoughts from, it's my dad because you're you're quite like that as well, aren't you? Yeah, I think you, it's then, great. You know, and you're, you're, you you would still say you haven't got anything figured out. Nothing, nothing figured out. Um, but yeah. that, that's the beauty, isn't it? Beauty. I think that having nothing figured out is is it fig being figured out. Well, just, you're always asking the question, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. That's why these vlogs have been good for me and hopefully good for the viewers. You just have to know that, uh, that you can't find the answer. There is no answer. Particularly, no, there's never an answer. And, it, and if you had the answer, I think that'd be boring as well, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, quick, quick Guinness. Um, but I remember having a Guinness with my dad. Mm -hmm. Now I can't have a Guinness with my dad, can I? But no. in memory of him, yep. I can have one with you, yep. which makes it a special day. Yeah, very nice. We're also quite emotional, me and my dad, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say you're emotional? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah completely. Yeah. I'm very emotional. I could cry at anything. I know, yeah, same, same. But I'd rather that than not, I think. I'm not ashamed of that. No, it, also, it might be busy in here, but who knows? But actually, although it doesn't look busy, but then most people who come to a pub don't drive, do they? True. Obviously, no. I'm only here for one anyway, True so no. actually, let me park over here. This is the boundary, by the way. Anyone who's local to this area will know in the comments. Well, also, you know, we play a game with the Guinness. Do you know this game? Oh, you've got to drink it down to the GLC. Could then. you do that? Give it a go. So. All right. Well, cheers Good first. Cheers. cheers. Thanks very much. And Andy. And yeah. Dad. Yeah, and Dad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Well, you go. Then I'll go. Okay. Or should I go first? Well, go first then. All right. All right. There we go. Cheers. I don't know if you can see me. Cheers. Cheers. Yours is a bit spillage spilled. All right. It's quite low. This one. Should make it easier then. I better not interrupt you while you do it. Oh, well, fail. Has it got to be the froth that gets? I reckon. No, I reckon it's the drink. But by the way, it's more than you think, you know. Is it? Yeah, the trouble is that I'm an Irishman, aren't I? So I'll have no problem. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I told you it's more than you, it's way more than you think. <laughs> That's actually quite embarrassing. I could have kept gulping, but... No, no. Do you reckon would do it? Why not? No, he was, no. He was, he was lightweight. He what, was he? He liked to drink, mm. but he couldn't take it. I remember one time he was weak. It was quite weak, wasn't it? When he was old, got, got yeah. old, yeah. we're on the beach playing football, and the wind just took him. <laughs> it just didn't. It. it was. It, it was. We were playing. The next minute, it was on the floor. Yeah. And the wind had just completely taken him. <clears throat> it was. It was a wire, like a piece of wire. It was like a pipe cleaner. Yeah. I remember. Uh, so he had a computer, didn't he? Yeah. When I was growing up, obviously. You mean the Apple? The Apple oh, Mac, absolutely. yeah. It's, one of the, it's G4, G3 or G4, yeah. one with the bass. That's why I use Macs now, because yeah. my brother, he had uh, Macs, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Before everyone else had the Macs. Yeah, so did. when I was at school, yeah. we used Windows. I was not actually used to it. Yeah. I was used to it more on a Mac, which, is, which ha actually helped me, yeah. because when I went to make music, I used your laptop, which was a Mac, and that's where I got Logic. Yeah. So I wouldn't have actually done music if not for him getting the Mac. Well, the reason that he had that um, dome with the stick on. Do you know why that was? Because he can move the screen. Because he got he got a problem with his eyesight. Yeah. And it, he could just move the screen. I mean, I think it's fantastic that Apple seemed to think of everything. Nigeria, oh, because yeah. Because you do, don't you? Yeah. You want to just adjust that screen, like yeah. whatever. And for this man with partial sight. Mm -hmm. And at, at the start, Apple yeah. uh, PCs would be big box and a screen, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's uh, not hard to use, you know, you can't see. Yeah. And so he, I used to get home from school so anyway, so he used, it's his computer, yeah. I think, was it? Was it, it was yours? His com it was his, that dome thing was his computer. Right, yeah. In my study. Yeah, yeah, his computer. But then obviously I was at the age where I was starting to get curious online and stuff, you know, yeah. so I started to Google stuff, making Photoshop and all these things. So I used to come home from school at yeah. three o'clock or whatever, and he would wait 
all day yeah. to use the computer until I got home from school. Yeah. Then he would go on it, just just to stop me doing it. Well, just to say that that would be ter that would be his way of saying get off my. Computer. Yeah, I know, I know. But obviously, yeah. I was too young to get that at the time. But he was stubborn, wasn't he? Well, yeah. we all are stubborn. Oh, from he, him, him it, the most. It wasn't for sharing that. No, really. no. And he also used to print off his his, his text. He used to print off, didn't he? His yeah. like Bible verses, yeah. and they would no word, no lie would be maybe not even one word on the page. It'd be A4 yeah. with like half a word. Yeah. And <laughs> he used to just print all day. The other problem that I found with my dad was that when he investigated things like that, because you know there's a lot of junk online, as you know, oh. we all know that, don't yeah, we? Yeah. But, but if my dad saw it online and saw it on a piece of paper, print, he would think that was gospel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Frightening. Yeah. An old, an old man with uh, that power. I know. I remember he used to try and kick me off as well, but yeah. I used to kick him off. Yeah, definitely. But funny. Well, it's also about rank because <laughs> him being him being an old man and you being a whippersnapper, <laughs> I know. he'd be he would expect you to respect him. No, I know. He? Yeah. And and instead of trying to just do that naturally, he'd like make issues. Yeah. Where to prove whether you disrespected him or not. Yeah. Well, well not. And you failed. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that I was young, too young to not respect him, but I wouldn't understand that. Me, I wouldn't yeah. understand that there would be a problem, you know. So for me, I just wanted to go on computer. But no, he's funny. Yeah. It's funny. No, I mean when I when I lived at home <clears throat> before I left home to get married, um, the house was beginning to get too restrictive for two men. Mm -hmm. He okay. was always going to be the man. Yeah. It was always going to be his house. Yeah. <laughs> and oh yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, I'd got to kind of um, if I want my house, I've got to leave. Yeah. Well, that's, that's how it was back yeah. then. More yeah, than yeah. it is now. Definitely. To be honest. Definitely. Well, she's got sunny out of nowhere. Nice. Yeah. I like Guinness. Actually, actually yeah. didn't didn't realise I liked it as much as I do. It's a great drink. Yeah, someone called it the uh, Theo. Uh, did you see it on my vlog? He said it's the vegan of beer because of the fact that everyone wants you to know that they drink the Guinness. And also that they have to, it takes them a while to make it, doesn't it? Yeah. I think it's, too, it's, it's a great brand. No, it's good. Good drink. They say it's a lot. it tastes a lot different in Ireland, in Dublin, than it does in the boundary, they say. Where, where did we go? We went to Dublin recently. Did we have a Guinness? No, we did have one. We had one at the... What was it? The What's the big famous pub in Dublin? The... No, on Grafton Street. Uh, well, he's from Belfast anyway, so... No, it's the bar. Temple Bar. Temple Bar. Temple Bar. But I didn't realise Temple Bar was an area. Yeah, it's an area. So everyone, said, everyone kept saying to us, go to the Temple Bar. Yeah. And some people said, go to tel Temple Bar. Yeah. But temple Bar, it's an area. Area, yeah. You haven't seen us on the vlog yet because it's behind, I'm heading out with the vlogs, a couple oh. of days ahead, sorry. But it's really, it makes it way better. It's like file f transfer and everything else. So, you know, I keep wanting to go see this Kill Tony show. Yeah. And you actually would watch it with me. Yeah. And I tried to, I, I queued up for tickets. Yeah. Didn't get them. I've been asking everyone, can I come go? Yeah. So I'm um, at home the other day and I checked my Instagram messages and I had, I had a message when I was there last time, someone called Red Van, who's the host of the whole show. Is this going to be, you've got a ticket? Yeah, so I, well, so I yeah, so I messaged him and I, ne I never asked anyone for anything, but I was like, you know what, I'm here, so let me just try. So I asked him for tickets and he didn't see it. Um, and then I get a message from Red Van, I think, wow, so he's the creator of the show. He's the guy who sits on the table. Um, and he messaged me saying, oh, I've been watching your vlogs. Because he lives in Austin, and I was in Austin, right? Trying all the food. Yeah. So he goes, uh, I've been watching your vlogs, and then ran randomly you mentioned Kill Tony. Yeah. So now you check the messages, and I didn't realise that you messaged me. So he said, next time, we'll, we'll have to sort it. So, yeah. <laughs> so I, I like it, because not only did he um, respond, he watched yes. the vlogs, you know? That's so the only way you're going to get one. Yeah, yeah, that's the only way. And then, so by the way, if you're watching this, respect, what a legend. And then I told Nick, Simon's brother, yeah. and he didn't really have a reaction. John did, John, because we just didn't, you know. Nick, Nick did not give me the reaction I wanted for the vlog. Hopefully the viewers did, and then you gave a good reaction, you know. Oh, but that's, that's great, funny. isn't it? No, it's incredible. Yeah? Incredible. And I'm a big, big fan of, of Red Bull anyway. It's become possible. Yeah, yeah. And through the vlogs, which is good. What I'm worried about now is that I, I just can't bear the thought of you being behind the microphone. Oh, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not <laughs> no, doing that. I mean, you, you know, talk about kill Tony. Like kill well, Randall. actually, I do. Oh, so actually, today's Sunday. So there's a Cyber Sunday going up, right. where I do, go and watch it if you haven't seen it, it's the longest Cyber video ever. <laughs> I do a stand-up set in, oh, in the no. video, and I start off by saying something quite controversial, oh and they were asking, should we keep it in or not? And I said, yeah, keep it in. Because, with this whole cancellation thing, in my opinion, is if you are too PC, yeah. and you don't do anything wrong, yeah. you're more of a, a target, because when you say something, oh. everyone goes, what's this? So I'm trying to lay the like, foundation a little bit more, so that people actually, 
come to expect that. Yeah. So I also mentioned something in the podcast recently where something, I said, oh, dancing's gay or something. Yeah. And then Nick cut it out. So I wanted to read the comments and see the reaction to it, but yeah, Nick cut it out. So I, w- I wish it stayed in because I think there's a difference between comedy and your opinion. Yeah. So if you call something gay or if you say it's not, that's, that's funny, yeah. you know, because you don't mean it. You're not meaning it in a bad way. You're just being honest, you know, I mean, and, and funny. And, and also, humor so, uh, someone was on kill Tony the other day who was gay you know and they were g- joking back and forth and that's what you want you know yeah. that's 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 the true actual well, meaning breath, uh, some of it though it takes your breath do you think <gasps> it does take your breath away yeah <laughs> but but that's that's where the, that's why it's funny, it funny and that's yeah. why it's it's yeah. not racy or it's not on the edge it's it's it's, it's where it should be so yeah i'm, I'm sure I'll get, i'm gonna get a lot of um, people saying what well, can't believe you said this you know but also there'll be a lot of people who listen to it and go you know what that is funny and also that is the basis of kind of like true Equality, you know. But I mean, that's absolutely live, isn't it? Absolutely it's, live. I mean, what what you're seeing on Kill Tony is actual real time. Well, happening. Tony Hinchcliffe, who's the host, one of the hosts, he actually got cancelled as well. That's what he showed you. Yeah. But he handled it really well. Yeah. He didn't apologise and stuck to what he thought was right. Um, and that's why on the show now, if you go to the show, they lock your phone away. So you yeah. can't take your phone. They air it three weeks later. Yeah. So they they've got full control whether they show it or not. Um, so now I'm, I'm interested to see what happens with the Simon video. By the time you're watching this, I could already be cancelled. Who knows? But at the same time, uh, I would rather, and this, is, this goes back to what I've been saying on the vlogs quite a bit recently, I would rather have my audience or fan base yeah. be people who truly understand and get my side yeah. of things. You're going to get people who don't like what you do, yeah. but that's the thing, that's okay. Like, so if, if, if I have a percentage of people who don't want to watch me, I don't care because they are not the, my target audience anyway. So that's what I'm trying to say as well. That's why when this comes out, there'll be a lot of people who, oh, this is wrong, this is wrong, but there'll be so many people who go, this, you know, that, that was funny, yeah. I enjoyed that, so we'll I, see. I always love people that um, will stand up for their own opinion mm-hmm. and their own taste, you know, so, you know, I like wearing this. A beret. And nobody else does well, fine. Yeah, you yeah. Know, so yeah. as I, as long as I like it, yeah. and I feel authentic in it, then yeah. that's your problem if you don't like it. Yeah, and I think one thing that the world needs to understand, especially like social media, is that two people are allowed to not agree. Yeah. You don't have to align. Oh, I think it's good. There's different religions in the world, there's different opinions, there's different yeah. politics, that's okay. The worst part is when someone doesn't allow you to have your point of view. Well, that's, that's the bad part. That's the bad part. And, and then the worst part is they won't even talk to you. So you should be able to, you and I should be able to have different opinions, and different still, beliefs, and, and still, still be friends. Exactly. Yeah, so you can say yours, I'll in, say mine. In we can. Fact, in fact, you want, that, you want that on the table, don't you? Because it allows you then to explore yeah. things. That's why we live well, in... Are you saying you don't like this beret? No, I like, I like the beret, oh, I do. Right, but okay. that, that's why I wanted to leave it in the Simon video. Yeah. And that's also why I wanted Nick to leave the, the when I mentioned the gay in the podcast, yeah. because I, I, you have to have the floor there. Yeah. And because people, so, people are so scared of being canceled and speaking about real things, then people will go away from it. And if you go away from it, that's, just, that's not good for anyone, because then nothing gets done. Would you change your opinion if people didn't like it though? Well, I mean, that's the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the question of that creators have and social media people have yeah. because they do change their opinion because other people don't like it. Yeah. Because if they, change, if they don't change their opinion and they get cancelled, it's because they don't have the opinion of the masses, which means they have less money. Yeah. So I'm at the point now where you kind of play with fire a little bit because yeah. if, if, say, what I'm saying here, obviously this is minor, but if, if what I'm saying here doesn't work and you get completely eradicated, yeah. then then... You lose your my career's gone. Yeah. But there's a difference between people who've done truly bad things and people who joke around and have yeah. fun because what happens is as well, when you go after the people having fun and the comedians, then you actually lose you, you let these lot get away with it. Yeah. So you, you know that whole um, Hollywood, you know, Harvey Weinstein, that that's yeah. he's been cancelled for something bad. Like he's yeah. done something wrong, yeah. so therefore he should be punished for it. Yeah. Yeah. But then there's people who haven't done things wrong who get punished for it. And then because you have that happening, you actually you lose the true you lose the actual. You lose everything. It's just yeah. cookie cutter, boring. Then and life's not good like that. Interesting. So anyway, yeah, I just wanted to tell you about Kill Tony. Yeah, so, I know that's very. Exciting. But now I have to have the confidence to actually, when I do go to Austin, message him again and say, can I, can I get a ticket? Yeah. Which I also hate doing. Yeah. <laughs> now it's time to head back to London. I ended up staying a lot longer at my parents than I had planned for because the game was on United Liverpool, and usually because I'm always driving back to London on Sundays, I always miss the good games. So I wanted to make sure I stayed for the quarterfinal FA Cup and I'm glad that I did because what a game that was, absolute sick game. Uh, and then also annoyingly, I've now left my, uh, Laura came to pick up Harper at around 5.30, just a little bit after. Uh, so I said goodbye to her, which is always sad, but I'm, you know, I'm getting better at it though. Cause I'm like, I enjoy the time we spend so much that I'm like looking forward to the next time that I see her rather than being sad that I'm not seeing her, you know. 
which helps I think. And also, annoyingly, I left my little bag at uh, the house. So I got to drive, it's the opposite way from London, so I got to drive there now, quickly grab that, then get back to the drive to London. Uh, and it's like, that, that bag's got all my important stuff in it, you know, so I need to go and get it. And so tomorrow we've got a podcast. So tomorrow morning, got a new podcast. We were gonna skip a week because we needed to work on the new set and everything else regarding that, but the set is a little bit later as you guys know. So we've got a podcast now this week, so we're filming that tomorrow. And the Sidemen are dropping one of the biggest videos they've ever dropped today. Like in, well, probably it's probably gone live right now, actually. So yeah, Sidemen Sunday, winter holiday edition. I, I'm, I'm hearing that the joke has been cut out. So the joke that I was talking about in the last scene for the vlog is now not there anymore. So I'm still gonna leave it in the vlog because like the discussion about it, because I think what I was saying was it's still warrants being said. But obviously it's not relevant anymore because the joke is gone out of side which, which makes sense, you know, they're, they're obviously a little bit more of a, a brand now. Uh, gotta be a bit careful. I don't care personally about my, like myself. However, the podcast is bright and early tomorrow and the new Sabbath Sunday is three hours long and I'm not gonna get home until like 10, 10.30 tonight. So either I watch it, in, I watch half of it in bed and then watch half of it in the morning. That probably is doable um, because obviously I need to talk about it on what's good podcast. I mean, I know, to be fair, like I think with the podcast, I'm gonna try and suggest we cover, not left Sidemen, because obviously Simon is in the Sidemen, I'm quite closely connected, and a lot of the audience wanna hear bits about it, but I don't wanna make our entire identity talking about the Sidemen and talking about stuff like that, you know? If someone asks us about what, what what's, what, what's the podcast all about, I don't wanna just say, Sidemen, you know. But however, this one is warranted because it's the biggest video in a long time. I've seen some of the scenes from it. I've seen some of the cuts from it. I've seen the work get into it, uh, and they kind of went crazy on this one. It's literally pretty much a movie, so I would like to see this one to be able to chat about this. And I'm in it as well, which always helps. You know, always helps Big Randy uh, watch the videos if, he, if he's in it. You know. Uh, but anyway, let me go and get my bag from the house, and then we will set off on this three-hour drive plus change because we'll probably have to charge. Let's be honest. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Made it home right now, not gonna lie, very tired. Did have to have an energy drink as well to keep me going on that one, because it's been a busy weekend, busy period, not much sleep. This whole like month's been a literal movie. I know people meme and say, oh, last night was a movie, but this actually has felt like a, a movie recently. So yeah, wow. In the footage you're about to see, the microphone is very scratchy. It's because the clip that I wear to hold this microphone up in my t-shirt keeps coming loose. I need to use a new one. I need to buy some proper road my review on these road mics is that the, the clips are just so bad. They broke in like a week of using them. The replacements I bought on Amazon don't really fit. So yeah, I need to get that fixed because having a secure microphone is good. But yeah, run the next footage. I'm sorry for the quality. I actually got my place cleaned over the weekend when I wasn't here. So let's see my reaction, my live reaction to my apartment being super clean. Ooh, the bedroom. Let's get the lights on. Oh my goodness, the bedroom looking splendid. It's so clean in here. It's so tidy in here. Let's go. Okay, what's the living room saying? Oh, the coat rack's been cleaned off. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so clean in here. Let's go. Oh, they've even tidied up as well. Oh my goodness me. I took the cushions off the sofa so it would uh, be nicer to lay on and the foot and back on. My gym shark's been neatly put. Surfaces clean. Let's check the bathroom. Oh, don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Oh, I lit the floor. Not really, that's weird. Uh, but no, I obviously like, I did, I do like cleaning, ish, but I, I just don't have the time, man. So I really appreciate it. When I'm away with Harper, book someone in to come help out and obviously pay for the service as you would expect. And yeah, tip as well, because what a sick job. Saturday Sunday, let's watch it. The new one, the movie just dropped, the winter holiday. And didn't I do a good job? I'm not showing too much in my vlogs because you guys have no idea what that one was about. Podcast is tomorrow morning. And we're definitely gonna see about this one because it's a long video. It's an important one, I guess, or a big video. So yeah, I'm gonna lock in, watch that one, and I'll probably update you guys. If I don't, that's me for today. Thanks for watching the vlog, guys. Harper melts my heart. I just, she's the best. She's the absolute best. Can't wait to see her next. And also can't wait to have her in London. Imagine having her in this apartment. Oh, I can take on the buses. I, can t I just can't wait. <laughs> All right, good night.